What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, and welcome back to another episode of Gearbox. So, today, we got another install for you. I know it's been a while, but we're getting back into it. As you can also probably tell, I sound like shit. Um, tis the season, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be installing the Noble CS style carbon fiber grill. Um, this, for me, is something that I always have liked the look of, but I never really wanted to spend my own money on it just because it wasn't that important. I don't mind the front grill that much, but after going to Vegas, like I mentioned in the other video, uh, and I won some money, I said, you know what? Screw it. This is the type of you know part that isn't too terribly expensive. I'm not blowing all of my winnings, but something to Spice it up a little bit, get some more carbon fiber on there. So that's what we're going to do. Um, as you can also tell, I have my Christmas tree in the background. So we are maybe three days removed from Thanksgiving. So I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Hope everyone's you know gearing up for the holiday season and whatnot. But let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you the piece and kind of go through that uh, step by step. All right, guys. So here is the grill. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it here, but pretty cool, uh, pretty simplistic styling, I would say, uh, but gonna be pretty easy. So let's take a look here. Basically what we're going to have to do uh, from what I've seen is just take off this front bumper, which I've done, feels like a million times at this point. And then right behind the grill here is gonna be maybe six to eight screws. Unscrew this one, screw that one in, pop it back on and we're good to go. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set y'all up, jack the car up, get this thing off, and should be pretty quick, but uh, we shall see. All right guys, so clearly we have the bumper off here. Like I said, we're just gonna go around back, have a couple screws, replace it, be done with it, put it back together. It's honestly nice to be able to do this because the last time I was back here wiring these uh, uh, turn signals here, I did a shitty job and just kinda, I don't know, wanted to be done with it. So here we are. Um, I'll go ahead and tuck this wiring a little better here uh, just because we're already back here, but pretty easy. I mean, as long as you know how to undo interior clips and have a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter socket for like four bolts, you're good to go. So um, I'm going to go ahead, unscrew this, uh, get the new one on. I'll show you before I put it back on the actual car. Um, and then from there, you know, reverse the steps and it should be good to go. So very, very easy. Um, but I'm looking forward to kind of seeing what it looks like with the new grill. But I will be back with y'all shortly. All right, guys. So it's been a little bit since I last picked up the camera. Um, end of the day, we, we got the install done. I'll go ahead and show you right now. I think it looks phenomenal. You see the carbon fiber there. You see the mesh grill um no no emblem i do like the cleaner look of the no emblem um eventually if i wanted to put an emblem on i could uh, but i think i'm gonna leave it there right now you know i think it really ties the entire car together just with you know, the carbon fiber grill carbon fiber uh drl turn signal deals black headlights black wheels and of course the black lip spoiler that I waited for for so long. 
I think it looks phenomenal. I mean, honestly, right now, aesthetically, I think I've got the car exactly where I want it. Need to do suspension and lower it, need to do this, need to do that. But, you know, as far as how it looks, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so anyway, you know, as y'all saw, the install was super easy. Probably took me, I don't know, 10 minutes to take the bumper off, two minutes to put the grill in, and here we are, and then I washed it. So um, pretty, pretty easy and straightforward, to be honest with you. If you do have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Uh, but once again, I appreciate y'all coming back to another episode of Gearbox. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Like I said in the last video, I'm really trying to upload a lot more frequently, um, so hold me accountable. Go ahead and hit the subscribes and that sort of stuff. Let me know what you want to see next, and we will go from there. But until next time, peace.